I just wanted to take a very quick minute to thank you all for being here and to let you know two things about this video. The first thing is that there is a lot of ambient wind or sound in the background. It's because I was recording outside and we were during a Santa Ana, so there's gusts of wind that come through and I have run this video through some programs to remove some of that background wind sound, but to do it too much more, it makes my voice very, very tinny, which I find more distracting and kind of more obnoxious than the wind sound. So I do apologize. I know it's there. I have removed some of it, but there is still some present. The second thing is the numbers that I present to you in this video are numbers that I measured. The measurement numbers are ones that I took myself of the stroller. So Valco on their on their website, valcobaby.com does list their measurements for the strollers. I give more measurements than are listed on the website. So if you're interested in how my measurements compare to the Valco measurements, go ahead and go to their website and you can see all of those for their strollers, but they match up almost identically. Hi, Perpetual Mommy here today to do a stroller review for all of you. Today, I am super excited to bring you the two single strollers made by Valco Baby. Those of you who've been watching my channel know that I love Valco stroller products. I love Valco products in general, and I've owned the Neo Twin and the Snap Duo Trend, which are their side-by-side -side double strollers, but I get so many questions about their single strollers. So I wanted to go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison for those of you who are trying to determine which of these two would best suit your needs. The stroller here on my right is the Snap 4 Trend. It is in the stunning tailor-made fabric in the color charcoal. Of the three fabric choices, charcoal, gray marl, or denim, the charcoal is my favorite, but those of you who have been watching me for any length of time know that gray is one of my favorite colors. So I really, really love the charcoal color, but they are all stunning fabrics in real life. I have now owned all three colors. Now the tailor-made fabric, for those of you who don't know, it's a super high quality, very soft, very durable fabric. It is probably the highest end stroller fabric I have ever encountered and I've had a lot of high end strollers, you guys. One of the things I did not know about the tailor-made fabric when I got my first stroller, which was the Neo Twin, is that it actually repels water. So that's not listed anywhere that I could find when I first bought my stroller, but my girls like to get Starbucks water. They think Starbucks water is the cat's meow. Like they just are super excited to drink water from Starbucks and my toddler dumped an entire tall sized glass of water in the stroller. Pulled her up really quick and noticed it was just sitting on top of the stroller like like in a pool, you know, just like sitting there and we could wipe it out and the fabric was barely wet. Now, if you don't get that up really quick, it will start to seep into the fabric. But the good news is if you have a minor spill and you wipe it super fast, the fabric's not gonna be damp. It's gonna be almost completely dry the moment that you wipe it. Now, the fabric does also clean very well. So if you aren't able to get to it right away, it does seep into the fabric. Just a little bit of mild soap and water. I usually just use a baby wipe, you guys. They wipe up really clean, really clean. All of my strollers look brand new. Now, over here on my left, I have the Snap Ultra Trend. This is the single modular stroller made by Valco Baby. What modular means is it means that the seat can transition. So the seat can face out towards the world and it can be turned around to face the parent. Now when my children are very, very young, I like to have them face me for a couple reasons. One, I don't like people touching my children. I am a germaphobe. I'm really private about my children. I don't want anybody touching my children. I also want to be, be able to see my little babies. So until they're, I'm not kidding you guys, about like one and a half to two, I have them face me if I have that possibility. The fabric here is the denim color. The denim color is stunning, you guys. If people have asked me to describe it, it is a blue with a background of gray. So it's blue with a hint of gray in it, and it is just so very, very pretty. And again, this is the tailor-made fabric. So you're gonna have that water-resistant fabric that wipes up easily, that repels water, that repels stains. Again, I usually just take a baby wipe to my stroller, you guys, and they look beautiful. I'm gonna let you get a close-up of the charcoal fabric over here as well. So you can just see the texturing in here. It's really soft, but it's a nice, thick, durable fabric at the same time. I have very tall, skinny children. Okay, for a reference point, my 15-year-old is six foot, almost six foot two at this point. So I make tall, skinny children, and my toddlers are no exception to that. So where the harnesses are in a stroller becomes a very, very important to me. So I wanted to go ahead and talk to you about that. So the height of these strollers is almost identical, you guys, and the top handle height of these strollers is both 43 inches, but the internal height is slightly different. So let's go ahead and talk about that. So the overall height here in this stroller, I have as 19 inches. So from the seated part here to the top of the back here, I got 19 inches. From the top here to the first harness slot, I measured five and a half inches. And then I have two inches, let me go ahead and move this out of the way. I have two inches from the 
first harness slot to the second harness slot and two inches from the second harness slot to the third harness slot. And then I have nine and a half inches from the bottom slot right here to where the bum starts here. So again, you've got five and a half, two, two, nine and a half for a total of 19 inches. Another thing that you're gonna notice is that the top two harness slots are a little bit wider placed than the bottom slots, and that's obviously obviously because a littler baby is going to have narrower shoulders, and that, so that's a better fit for the harness straps over the child. Now let's go ahead and talk about width. I recorded the width as 13 and a half inches. So at the widest part of the backing back here, you do have a 13 and a half inch with. Now over here at the Snap Ultra Trend, you have the same thing here. So I measured the entire from the seat bottom where the bum hits to the top of the backing here as 18 and a half inches. From the top to the first harness slot, I did measure four inches. Then I measured two inches between the top slot and the second slot and two inches between the middle slot and the bottom slot. Just like on the Snap 4 Trend, you do have the top two slots a little bit wider than the bottom slots. And that's again for that narrower, smaller baby for that better harness fit. From the bottom slot to where the top of the bum hits, I did measure 10 and a half inches. So when I have four, two, two, 10 and a half, and an overall width of the widest part at 12 and a half inches. Another thing that people usually want to know is seat depth. And again, that becomes important for that tall child. So the snap four trend from when the bum hits to where the knees curve over is a nine inch seat depth. The same thing here from when the bum hits to where it rounds over where the legs go, I got eight and about two quarter inches. So just over eight inches of room. So you've got about a three quarter inch difference as far as depth goes. So there's not a huge difference there. So overall, looking at the big picture, you guys have got a half inch higher here. So I've got 19 inches height versus 18 and a half inches height. And I've got 13 and a half inches wide versus about 12 and a half inches wide. Seat depth, I have nine inches from the bum to where the knee bends. And here I have eight and a half inches. So from where the knees bend to where the feet go here, I have 11 inches. From where the knees bend to where the feet go here, I have eight and maybe a quarter inches. So between eight and eight and a quarter inches. Let's go ahead and talk about how these strollers are similar, okay? One of my favorite features of the Valco Snap Trend series are the hoods. Now I live in Southern California. It is 90 plus degrees. 45 weeks out of the year and shade becomes a priority for us. It's one of the reasons that even though my girls are toddlers, we take a stroller with us all the time because I always want to wait for my girls to escape the sun if they need to. So we wear sunscreen, we wear hats, and we take our Valco strollers. So this is the canopy unextended on both of these strollers. The canopies are exactly the same on both of these strollers. They are a four panel zip out. So I'm gonna have you go ahead and come on over to this side so you can see what I'm doing. So you have one zipper right here. I'm gonna go ahead and zip that out and you elongate a panel. I'll let you go ahead and take a look at what that looks like now between the two strollers. So you have no extension here versus one panel extended here. And then you have another zipper. If you look back over here at the Snap Ultra Trend, you have another zippered panel right here that takes this canopy all the way down. I mean, look at the difference between the four panels fully extended versus no panels out. It is just absolutely incredible. Now here on the snap board trend, let me go ahead and elongate one of the panels so you can see three versus four. Well, you get a nice front angle of that so you can see the difference as well. Both of the hoods do have a magnetic flap here with mesh. The peekaboo mesh on the canopies is a UV mesh, so you don't have to worry about the sun coming through there. Again, that is a UV mesh, and I do appreciate a magnet. I do not like Velcro, so it's nice to have that. And you have the exact same flap over here on the hood on the Snap 4 Trend. And again, the Snap 4 Trend also has that fully extendable fourth panel. Another thing that's similar about both of these strollers is they both have a swing away bumper bar. All you do is depress the button on the outside and the bar swings away. Depress the button right here on the outside and the bar swings away. You can do it from either side. Either side swings out really nice. Your kid can climb in and you just snap it in place. Now you may have noticed the leatherette coverings on the bumper bars and on the handles. These come standard with these strollers. They do zipper off. They are also replaceable if you needed to replace them for any reason. 
So I get asked all the time, you know, how important is it for the height of the seat back? So remember, these have a half inch difference for the overall height of the seat back. For me, that's not a huge issue. The biggest number for me with a stroller is where the bottom of the bum to the top of the canopy is. How tall is that? So both of these strollers have the exact same internal dimension there. So from the, where the bottom of the bum is to the top of the canopy, and again, bottom of the bum to the top of the canopy on the inside is 22 inches. So they have the same seated head height clearance in both of these, which is fabulous. Another question I get asked a lot is regarding the crotch strap. People wanna know how long the crotch strap is. For those of you who had a stroller with a short little crotch strap, you know that once your baby starts to get a little bit bigger, that can become a problem. You don't want your kids sitting on this part of the, the buckle. So right here on both the Snap 4 Trend and on the Snap Ultra Trend, the crotch strap length fully extended is nine inches. Now, while we're here, let's go ahead and talk about the Valco buckles. So this is another question I get all the time. How do these buckles work? They're a quick release buckle. It's very nice. You just push it in and they snap apart. Do you see how it sprung apart? This side didn't over here because I had my hand here. And then it's like a puzzle piece buckle, but it's very easy to do. So you just slide, you want to have the long bar on top. So not inverted upside down, the long bar on top, it slides in. And then clip. And again, you want to have the long bar on the top sliding in, sliding in. A very easy buckle to use. Now all of the Valco strollers use that same five point harness locking mechanism. Another thing that is the same about these strollers is that they both have adjustable foot rests. So here you have one, two, three positions for use. And here you have one, two, three, but what you'll notice here is you also have a fourth position. This is for folding the stroller. You do not want to use the stroller in this position. And there's actually a warning right here telling you not to do that. So when you use the stroller, you don't want to raise it past the second clip. Now, while we're looking at the foot, foot wells, what you'll notice here is remember we talked about the difference here is that this is 11 inches long and this is about eight and a quarter inches long. Or down here you have the rubberized portion where the feet go down here, which is a nice feature. If you get mud, you've got dirty shoes, you want to be able to wipe it off, you want to sanitize it. So I don't know about you guys, but a lot of times my girls want to get in on a hot day and take their shoes and socks off. So if they want to do that, I want to be able to wipe this down before they put their little naked feet on that part of the stroller. Now here, where you see the foot well here is not attached to the footrest. Here on the Snap Ultra Trend, it's all one piece, but you do still have that rubberized component that makes it really nice and easy to wipe. The other thing too is that you'll notice is that you do have a little bit of access to your basket from here with the stroller facing out towards the world. Another thing that's the same between the Snap 4 Trend and the Snap Ultra Trend are the tires. They both have the EVA tires, which are puncture-proof, non-air-filled tires, which means that in theory, you should never have to replace these tires. Front wheels are measuring seven inches, and the back wheels are measuring nine and a half inches. And I'll let you guys get a nice look at that. I apologize, you guys, we're outside in Southern California, and it happens to be very windy today. So if you guys have heard of Santa Ana weather, we got a little bit of that going on right now. So another feature of the wheels that are exactly the same between these two strollers is that they both have the ability to have the front wheels swivel or to lock into place. So right now I do have the wheels in swivel mode. So they swivel in a nice 360 degrees. But if you wanted to lock them, you just go ahead and push down right there on the front and you notice this locks it in place. You want it to swivel again, you go ahead and lift it up and you turn it very easy. Now you notice that's designed to be done with your foot, but I'm doing it with one finger. It's a very easy thing to do and a really nice feature, especially when you have some uneven terrain like we do here in Southern California. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn the both of these strollers around and give you a shot of the backside and talk about some of the features we have going on back there. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and talk about the braking feature of these strollers. So Valco makes something called a flip-flop friendly brake. Both of these strollers do come with the flip-flop friendly brake. That is a tongue twister, you guys. But let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that. So most brakes on strollers toggle front to back. The flip-flop friendly brake toggles left to right. So when the brake is to the right, it's locked. When you step on it to the left, it is free. 
and that is very easy to do. It takes no pressure whatsoever to really make it do it, but it has a nice satisfying engagement. And again, with the Snap Ultra Trend, you have the exact same thing. Very easy to do. Both of these strollers have a three position adjustable handle. The lowest position's at 38 inches, the middle position's at 41 inches, and the top position is at 43 inches. Now when you're measuring the height of the handle, it's from the ground to the bottom of the handle in position. So this is the lowest position. So from the ground to the bottom of the handle here is 38 inches, and then we have 41 inches, and then we have 43 inches. And again, this is the Snap 4 Trend. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with the Snap Ultra Trend. And again, from the ground to the bottom here, this lowest position is 38 inches. And then we have 41 inches. And then we have 43 inches. So you guys can see the handles are the exact same height. Another one of my favorite features of this stroller that I never knew that I needed to have until I had it was a zippered pocket on the back of my stroller. I can't tell you how many times on some of my other strollers that have bags in the back that didn't zipper, I'd fold the stroller and stuff would just come flying out. So both of these back, both of these strollers have really nice bags and you can see I actually have stuff in this one already. Really nice zippered bags on the back of the stroller. Put your cell phone there, put your keys there, put a spare diapy in there, put some wipes in there, whatever you want to take on the go. I usually keep napkins and wipes in mine. So another feature that people always want to know about besides the handles are the baskets. The baskets on these two strollers, I haven't measured them, but they, from what I can tell, are exactly the same size. So let me go ahead and take the Valco mommy bag. So this is the diaper bag made by Valco. It is packed up. Let's go ahead and put it underneath here. So you can see, this is a full size diaper bag. And again, that's the Valco mommy bag. So you can see there's a lot of room still in there. Now you're looking at the Snap 4 Trend. Let's go ahead and look at the Snap Ultra Trend. And again, you can see how much room is left in there with that diaper bag in there. You can also stand the diaper bag up. So if you want it to be able to access your stuff in your diaper bag, you can stand it up and get into it that way. Again, still talking about how these strollers are similar. Let's go ahead and talk about how they recline. They both have a slide adjustment back here that allows you to recline the stroller in just about any position you want. They do have a full recline. So both of these strollers are newborn friendly. So you can put a newborn baby laying completely flat in both of these strollers. Now, the other thing that's nice here is that you again have that UV mesh fabric. So for places like where I live in Southern California where it's so hot, you do have a lot of airflow that's able to come through here. If you wanted the air flow to come through, you could roll your screen up. You could roll your fabric up and toggle it back. This Snap 4 Trend works exactly the same way. And you're hearing that Velcro, let me show you. So again, you have that UV mesh fabric. It elongates the same way, but if you, it was colder or you didn't want that to be open, you do have the Velcro and it stays in place just like that. But again, they both have the full recline suitable for newborn. So let me go ahead and turn that around so you can see it. Okay, so I wanted you guys to get a nice full front shot of what it looks like when the stroller's reclined. So when my girls recline in it, I do go ahead and put their feet up. And again, you could do the same thing here. So you have a nice flat surface, again, suitable for that newborn baby. Now, if you don't want anyone to be able to touch your baby, you can go ahead and again, pull out that canopy. Look at this nice coverage you get when you do this. So you can have babies sleep and not have any of the elements, any of the sunlight coming in and bothering them. Now, when I was very new to Valco and looking for my next stroller, one of the things that drew me to the Valco brand was how upright the seats allow you to sit. So you don't have to sit this upright. Because of the way that the back adjusts, you can actually have these at any angle. But if you wanted to, like my girls are older, they like to sit in a full upright position. This allows for an almost completely straight up and down seating position, which a lot of older children definitely prefer. So again, you can have that nice straight up and down here, or you can recline it in any way. So if you just wanted to have it slightly reclined, 
you could do a little bit. So you have a whole bunch of variability with this, which is very, very nice. Let's go ahead and jump into how both of these strollers are different. So again, we're discussing the Snap 4 Trend versus the Snap Ultra Trend. So up until this point, we've gone over how they are similar and you've noticed that all of the features pretty much that we've discussed so far are either identical or very on par for each other. But now we're gonna start talking about what makes these strollers different. The first thing is the fold. So this is the Snap 4 Trend. Let's go ahead and go over how it folds. So you do have a one-handed fold. You have a button on the bottom for your thumb and you have a finger button right here for your other fingers. So you're gonna squeeze with your thumb, you're gonna squeeze with your fingers and you're gonna push down towards your body. And again, Balco has that clean fold technology. So what that means is when the stroller is folded, all that fabric that the child sits on and comes in contact with, it's folded in on itself. So none of that fabric is coming into contact with the ground or any other grimy surface, maybe the back of a dirty car or dirty trunk that you don't want your child touching. So let's go ahead and open it up and then we'll fold it again so you can see it again. So right here, you do have a little toggle arm, a locking arm, just open the locking arm and the stroller snaps out. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned this previously, but the Snap 4 Trend weighs 15 pounds. It is a very light stroller. So again, let's go ahead and do that. You wanna make sure that your seat's upright, that your hood is back, and that you're gonna go ahead and squeeze and push down. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it back open. Now let's go ahead and take it over to the back of my SUV and show you what it looks like in the back of the car. So when I keep my strollers in my car, I almost always have my third row seat up for my oldest child to sit back here. She's 24 and I keep the stroller back here like this. Now I don't like my strollers to really touch the ground too much. So I found a way to pop open my Valcos before I take them out of the car. All I do is undo the little handle right here, the locking arm, and I just pop it open right as it comes out of the car. Okay, so now we're at the Snap Ultra Trend. This is the modular stroller. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the seat. All right, we're gonna go with the seat because then we're gonna talk about the fold. So the fact that it's modular again means that the seat can face, the seat the child sits in can face the world or it can face the parent. So in order to switch the seat, all you're gonna do is you have little toggle buttons right here. I'm gonna let you get down in here and look. Right here, the little triggers, okay? You're just gonna pull the triggers and lift up just like that. It's super smooth and just turn it around. Okay, that nice click. And again, to move it, you're just going to go ahead and pull the triggers, pull straight up, it's nice and smooth. Line it up and click. Now this stroller folds both directions with the child seat facing out towards the world and facing towards the parent. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and fold the Snap Ultra Trend both ways with the child seat facing out towards the world and with it facing toward the parent. So it has the one-handed fold just like you had on the Snap 4 Trend. You're gonna squeeze with your thumb, squeeze with your fingers, and you're going to fold it down. You're gonna notice that seat swings down, the frame comes up, and the seat can stand just like that. It's a really nice compact fold, especially for a modular stroller. And I don't know about you guys, but for my old modular stroller that I had, and I won't name names, I had to actually remove the child seat before I could fold it. So this is a nice feature. To open it up, you're gonna go ahead and just release that locking arm. Open the frame. And lock the seat into place. Very easy. So you will notice you'll have to put your foot rest back down if you want because that does come up during the full process. Now with all of the Valcos, you do want to make sure that the seat's in an upright position and that your hood is back before you fold the stroller. Now let's go ahead and turn the seat towards the parent and fold it that way. Okay, let's go ahead and fold this Snap Ultra Trend with the child seat facing the parent. So you got that one-handed fold, thumb, fingers, push towards your body and lay down and then the stroller will stand up on itself just like it did in the other mode 
And in case I didn't mention it, the Snap Ultra Trend does weigh 18 pounds. So the Snap 4 Trend is 15 pounds and the Snap Ultra Trend is 18 pounds. It is a three pound difference. Let's go ahead and open this up. All you're gonna do is you're gonna open up that arm just like you did before. Grab the handle and I'm trying to stay out of the shot. Open up the frame. You notice when I opened the stroller with the seat facing out towards the world, is that once I had the frame open, all I had to do was lift this part up and the seat popped into place. Now, when you fold it with the seat facing the parent, it does engage with this locked bar right here. Now, there's not a technical way to fix this. All you're going to do is pull up on the seat and it just comes undone just like this and snaps back into place. And again, you're going to reposition your footrest. And again, a super nice feature to be able to fold a modular stroller with the seat facing out or towards you without having to take the seat off and carry it separately. Let's go ahead and put this in the back of the car. Okay, we're going to continue talking about ways that this stroller is different. So right now, again, we're going to be focused basically on the Snap Ultra Trend because that's the one that has the additional features. And again, I apologize for the ambient noise, you guys. I'm trying to get you the best light, but it is super windy in California because they knew I needed to record. So one of the nice features that comes with this stroller that would have saved me a ton of money if I had known about the Valco singles when I had my little ones is the fact that it comes with a boot net. So the Snap Ultra Trend comes with something called a boot net, which makes it so that you can turn your stroller into a bassinet without having a huge, extra, clunky, separate bassinet that you have to take with you. So, so I've inserted a still photo here to go over something very, very quickly with all of you. I wanna bring two things up. First thing is a boot net is not exactly like a bassinet for two reasons. One is that it doesn't lay 100% flat like a bassinet would, and two, some people, I don't want to get into a bait on whether or not it's okay to put baby on their tummy, but some people do put their babies on their tummies and bass nets. You would never ever in a boot net put your baby on their tummy. So regardless of how you feel about baby laying on their stomach, you would never ever do that in a boot net. So all you're going to do is remove the bumper bar. Remember, you've got that bumper bar. You have the button on the outside and you have one on this side too. It allows that bar to swing open for a child to climb in or just to remove it. And then you're going to put on the boot net bar just like this it snaps right in and then you're going to take your boot net piece but first you're going to put your footrest up and this is for the little babies for those newborn baby kind of age and slide it right over just like so Now, you also have snaps. So you have a snap on the outside. So let me see if I can show you here on this side. So you have a snap right here. So you can snap. And then there's a snap on the inside, which I'll show you on the other side. And then you have a snap. And a snap. And in literally seconds, you've taken your stroller into a bassinet. So you're gonna lay baby back. So baby's got that full recline. You got your new baby completely encased. You can take your hood, put it all the way down. Nobody's touching your baby. Now I have it facing out for the, for the video so you guys can see better. But if you had this seat facing parent wise, nobody's getting at your baby. There is absolutely no access. Now if you're worried about airflow, you can always open the top flap here and you can lift the flap back here so you've got some nice airflow going into baby while baby's still covered and nobody can access baby. A feature that I would have loved that Valco's ingenious for thinking of is that when my girls were little and they were both born in the summertime, is this netting that they have. So I'm gonna go ahead and unsnap this boot here so you can see it, but, Valco has this mesh paneling, you guys. Do you see this netting? So fantastic. So you can have baby laying in here with the mesh netting, protecting them from the sun, protecting them from the bugs. And you do have these little clasps here that allows you to, I'm gonna to try to do it from this awkward angle, 
to clasp it down. Again, I'm at a really awkward angle, but it's really easy to do. It just, just slides over the bar. Just like this. And you've got a fully encased UV protected area for your little one. And again, if you wanted more airflow, you could roll up the back panel here with your little toggle and have it up, have lots of airflow come through, have baby protected from bugs and from people who want to touch your little one. And again, especially if you had the seat facing the parent. And we have it facing out so that you guys can see it, but I adore the feature, this netting feature. I just think it's absolutely amazing. Now, I know some of you are gonna ask me, what happens when your little one gets older and they don't want their feet like this? Valco thought of that as well. There is a zippered panel down here. If you open the zippered part here, it elongates. So with your footrest in the down position, you're gonna put your bassinet cover back on, your boot net cover back on. And again, it just slides on super easy. And now you have all that foot well area for your little one. And then you can come back up here and you snap your, snap your boot net back into place. You snap it on the inside if you want as well, zip it up. And now your little ones are protected from the cold if you live somewhere with inclement weather and it gets really cold, this works great. They've got room for their legs. They can kick their feet all around. Their foot rest is all the way down. They have lots of space. They're nice and toasty warm. And again, you can use these panels on your hoods to give even more protection. And again, you can do all of this with this seat facing the parent as well. Again, I've inserted another still because I wanted to make sure that we're really clear on something here. So even though uh, I've showed you twice now how the hood comes all the way down and you can pretty much make a full enclosed encapsulated area with the boot net feature and the hood all the way down, I don't think as a parent that I would use it all the way down like that without at least having the mesh in the back exposed because you wanna make sure that you always have adequate fresh air flow to baby or little one in a stroller. So I would be worried about the amount of fresh air getting to baby with it all totally enclosed. So I would at least make sure that the mesh paneling at the top of the hood and the back of the stroller were open if I was to keep the canopy the whole way down. So just always make sure that you have enough fresh air and you know adequate flow to baby. So down to the nitty gritty again, the internal dimensions of the Snap 4 trend and the Snap Ultra trend are almost identical. You've got a variance of a half an inch to a full inch in some areas with the Snap 4 being slightly larger with the inside than the Snap Ultra trend. But the internal height, remember the from the bum to the canopy peak, the seated height for the head is 22 inches for both. Your handle height is exactly the same for both of these strollers. The Snap 4 trend does weigh 15 pounds, where this Snap Ultra trend weighs 18 pounds. It's a three pound difference. I'd be really honest with you guys, I don't even notice those three pounds. It's, it's a negligible amount to me. Now cost, because I know you guys are going to ask me, the Snap 4 trend retails for $429.99 and the Snap Ultra trend re retails for $529.99. So it's a $100 difference. Now the Snap 4 trend, you can buy a separate bassinet part for it that's $180 so if you're thinking you want a bassinet portion maybe just right out of the box go right for the snap ultra trend that comes with that because that is actually going to save you some money in the long run unless you really like this snap for better now I knew you guys going to ask me which one would I buy for my little ones I'm going to tell you if I had a brand new baby if I was pregnant if I had a newborn I would go with this snap ultra trend because I like the fact that I can turn it into a full covered bassinet without having a separate feature. So this boot net part, especially with the netting and the hood, fantastic. The fact that it's a modular stroller that I can fold with a seat facing either direction and not have to remove it, fantastic. The fact that it's only 18 pounds, amazing. The basket on the bottom, great. If I had a child that was one plus years of age, I would probably go with the Snap 4. It's getting windier out here, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off before you can't hear me at all. That's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is how much I love you guys. I hardly ever put my children on social media. This is my three-year-old, Aubrey. This is my, geez, she thinks I'm taking a still photo. This is my three-year-old in the Snap Ultra Trend. She is in the 95th percentile for height. She did not dress for this. This is how she dresses every day in her super fancy. Who are you dressed like, baby girl? Aguilla. You look like Cinderella. 
Um, so you can see her on the Snap Ultra Trend. She fits really well. Um, her knees are bent a little bit, but she can rest her feet comfortably. And uh, she has a lot of head height. So let me see if I can get a shot here of the harnesses so you can see. So she's still got a lot of room here in her harnesses. She's got a grow room for height and she's got a lot of room here. And you can see her crotch strap. I have it fully elongated so you can see how much she has. It's really nice and high. So at three and a half and she, she's not quite three and a half. She's almost three and a half. She's 98th percentile for height. She weighs right about 30 pounds. Let's go ahead and put her hood down for you. Okay, so in here, I'm gonna close her in so you can see the head height. So you can see she's got several inches Put your head up, baby, so they can see. Several inches between the top of her head and the clearance of the canopy in there. So she's got a lot of room in here. Now this is the smaller of the two. Let's go ahead and put her in the Snap 4 so you can see what she looks like in there. So this is my same three-year-old and she's now in the Snap 4 trend. She fits really well in it. She has a little bit more room than she did in the Snap Ultra trend. She did fit in the Snap Ultra trend. You can see she has a little bit more room. Now the straps are a little bit loose because I did want to show you how much room she does have to go. I mean, like this is this is so much room. She has like, she can get her arms in and out. She's got so much um, extra room and her waist straps aren't even adjusted nearly as tight as they could go. So she's got a lot of room to grow again. She is the 98th percentile for height. She wears a 5T typically and um, she's my big three-year-old. Okay, so the one thing I did not mention at the beginning of this video, because for me it's just a given, but I forget that not everybody's familiar with Valco, is the ease of push with their strollers. So I have their double strollers and their single strollers are exactly the same as far as push goes. We're talking about a one finger glide push. Like I all the time, I'm walking through like Trader Joe's like this. I don't know if you guys can notice. I'm literally po pushing with my pointer finger and my thumb at the bottom. And I do this all the time. I navigate all over the place. The strollers are so lightweight. They, they just, they glide, they, they're so smooth. I've never ever encountered anything like it ever in my life. It's the best push.